It was just freedom. As a kid, you could jump on your bike and disappear for hours. I think that feeling stays with you all your life. We started trying to put fatter tires on bikes and some different gears. And it allowed us to get out on the dirt and play a little bit farther and, and go up and down hills. That was really fun. And it's like, yeah, that's that exact feeling again as a kid. Today, fat bikes are helping to keep that pioneering spirit alive and continuing the evolution of cycling by allowing riders to venture into new terrain in riding conditions previously thought impossible. We still love riding trails, but there's something about riding on terrain you've never ridden before. Sometimes places nobody has ever ridden a bike before that's pretty special. And fat bikes are allowing people to do just that, to ride off the beaten path. I remember seeing some of my first fat tire bikes Wow, those really are big. And I get it, I, I understand what that bike is gonna do, but until you ride one, you really don't get it. You have to get on one and understand how well a tire like that floats, on snow in particular, but also on certain types of dirt, sand. We wanted to see where these bikes could take us, so we rounded up a mix of riders from weekend warriors, to a professional endurance athlete, to a professional motor trials rider, and some friends we met along the way. Everyone found their own way of taking advantage of and appreciating what these bikes allow them to do, things they weren't able to do on their traditional mountain bikes. Oh yeah, Emmy, a chocolate lab, with better endurance than any of us, and better traction than even studded 4.8 inch tires, comes along for more than a few rides. There's this special little saying you get when you've just done something really cool that you're pretty sure no one's ever done before. I love adventure and I love challenge and my passion is using bicycles to get me to unconventional places. Fat tires really just take out all the inconsistencies in the trail, I think, and, and the lines that I'm, I'm doing. Things that would really upset a skinny tire with, with higher pressure, these things just soak up like a motorcycle. sizes are going to really change the mountain bike industry as far as the terrain we're playing in and when you play there, uh, the style of movement of a bike on those type of surfaces. certain size got us to a level and a certain style of riding and here is another step to go to a place where we thought okay you can't ride a bike there and all it took was some creative individuals to go you can ride there if you do this it's another whole world that we couldn't take our bike to before
all your life. But now we can go do this other stuff that we couldn't before. And that's, that's magic. That's just uh, that's what we strive for. You stop doing that stuff, you might as well just go lay down or something. There's one thing I learned in Iceland, it only takes one beer to get from sunset to sunrise. Uh, I'd say three beers. Greg has a different opinion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'd say it's three beers between the sunset and sunrise, but it's pretty fast. Like 15 minutes. <laughs>